The next thing we need to do is to try to make sure we're clear about the difference between two words which are often confused by people. These two words are power and energy. Okay, just a little example of this. Okay, both of these things. Here's an atom bomb. Here's a nuclear power station. They're both designed to release the energy from um, uranium atoms. What's the difference? Well, this one does it in a very, very fast way. This one releases the same amount of energy in a very, very slow way. Okay, so the difference is that the same amount of energy is released. Okay, but this one's got a high power, okay, because the energy is released very quickly. This one's only got a very small power because the energy is released very slowly. Say so small power relative to the bomb. This is a small power. Okay, so that's the fundamental difference. Okay, same amount of energy, different amount of power. We need to just make that a bit clearer with some examples. So we're going to look at the difference between energy and power, and then we're also clearly those two things are linked together. So we're going to be able to calculate power from energy and time. Okay, so just some definitions first. It's really strangely difficult to define what energy means, so you usually end up with this definition, the ability to do work. Okay, all that means is to do anything, you need energy. If you want to climb some stairs, you need some energy. If you want to make your car go, you need some energy. If you want to make a light bulb light, you need some energy. Okay, that's what energy means. We've already said, okay, that energy is most in joules. Just make sure that you do do a capital J for joules. It's named after a, a guy, James Joule, so you need to give it a capital letter. Okay, power is the amount of energy used per second. This is the crucial thing to understand, okay? And this is measured in watts, again, named after a person, James Watt, so it's got a capital W. And sometimes you use kilowatts, okay, little k, big W. Okay, so just some sort of examples to try to make that clear for you. So if you want a battery to last a long time, okay, you'll know that you can get different sizes of batteries, and they all give you one and a half volts, or at least there's a big range of sizes of batteries that give you one and a half volts. Why would you bother a bit getting a big one when you could just have got a small one that's cheaper? Well, the thing about a big battery is it will store a lot of energy, so it'll last a long time, okay? So the reason the battery lasts for a long time is because it stores more energy. Okay, but when you buy a light bulb, you don't buy a 10 joule light bulb, you buy a 10 watt light bulb or a 50 watt light bulb, okay? What, why is this? Well, because this is to do with the amount of energy it's converting per second. So the bigger that power is, the brighter the bulb will be. So a, a light a bulb is brighter because it's got more power. Okay, our third example is um, a car. If you put a more powerful energy in the car, it can give the car more kinetic energy more quickly. So it's the power of the engine that tells you how fast the car can speed up. Okay, if you cook um, food in a microwave, you'll know that different cooking instructions come according to the power of the microwave so if you've got a thousand watt microwave you don't have to put the food in for so long as if you've got a 600 watt, watt microwave because it's giving you the energy more quickly okay it'll take the same amount of energy to cook the food regardless of the size of the microwave but the more powerful it is the shorter time you need to cook the food okay coal will burn for a long time because it stores a lot of energy and an electrical fire heats the room up. Well, if you've got like a one kilowatt electric fire, that's going to take longer to heat the room up than a three kilowatt electric fire because the three kilowatt electric fire is giving you the energy more quickly. Okay, so hopefully those are fairly straightforward, but it's really important that you try and get the difference between those two words, which are often used as if they mean the same thing. Okay, so this is our more sort of uh, scientific definition. Power is the energy we used divided by the time that it took to get us that energy. Okay, you can put that into a triangle if you like. Um, so as you'll see here, if you put your hand over power, power equals energy divided by time. The energy you get is the power times the time. The time it takes to do something is the energy that you want divided by the power of the device. So here's just a few examples to give you a bit of practice with the calculation. So if um, a motor uses 100 joules of energy in 10 seconds. We do power equals energy divided by time. Here's the energy, so look for something with joules next to it. 100 joules is the energy. Here's the time, make sure that's in seconds, so we've got 10 seconds. So 100 divided by 10, put that in your calculator if you need to. 100 divided by 10 obviously is 10. And don't forget the units watts. 
Okay, so some examples. So the power of a light bulb that uses 6,000 joules in a minute. Okay, we're still doing power equals energy divided by time. Here's our energy, 6,000 joules. Okay, here's our time, one minute. Okay, but time has got to be in seconds. Okay, so 60 minutes is, sorry, one minute is 60 seconds. 6,000 divided by 60, this is 100. We're working out of power. This is 100 watts, 100 joules every second. Okay, the energy used by a 60 watt, a uh, 6 watt motor in 20 seconds. Now we've got to rearrange your equation. We're trying to work out energy. So energy equals, put your hand over there, power times time. Energy equals power times time. The power is 6 watts. The time is 20 seconds. 6 times, 120, uh, six times 20 is 120. It's an energy, so it's in joules. The energy used by a 720 watt microwave running for 1 minute 40 seconds. Okay, so again, we're trying to work out energy equals power times time. 720 watts, 1 minute 40 seconds is 100 seconds altogether. That gives me 72,000 joules.